Hi, everybody. It's Tommy C. This is a Shop in the Point new program. I, I used to do this with uh, In the Crease with Tommy C. That's going to actually revert and be a uh, video show. But this is, this just in, Hockey Update. And I'm going to use this to break in for any reason I might have or any breaking news in the National Hockey League or around the hockey world. Hi, everybody. I'm Tommy C., host of Shop from the Point Productions. Now, our first... Uh, this just in update has absolutely nothing to do with the hockey world, so it is a little bit of a test, but it does have a lot to do with the hockey community. NHL 15 has just been announced. It's going to be for both next generation consoles, uh, PlayStation 4, and of course, uh, Xbox One, they're calling it. Uh, I haven't decided to get either. To be perfectly honest with you, I probably can't afford it. If they have a 360 version, I'm probably going with that. But nonetheless, this is a big part of the hockey community for going on well over 20 years now. I remember getting my first copy of uh, NHL hockey, which would have been NHL 92. And it's just grown over the years and it's become more competitive and there's so much more you can do with it. So I'd like to be the first to, well, I'm sure I'm not the first. I definitely won't be the last because uh, YouTube is just filled with geeks and gamers. But I'd like to, uh, I'd like to have you check out the uh, trailer, which I have queued up right now. Here it is, the trailer for NHL 15, and then I'll come back on the other side and show you some of the uh, reviews and or uh, some of the options you might have for NHL 15. Here you go. There are rituals out in the hallway. Everyone has their part. They're about to yell. It's always Game 7, Stanley Cup Final, everything on the line. Can't imagine what the feeling is like, can you? Of course, you didn't get to see all that much, but that was EA's teaser trailer. And if you listened real close, you American fans would probably notice, and I'm sure, well, nowadays for the internet, your Canadian fans may have noticed, Doc Emmerich. And uh, these, there's apparently is there is a complete NBC integration. NBC, of course, is the, um, they're the hockey guys in the United States. They're essentially what the CBC would be for the United States. So apparently Doc Emmerich and Eddie Chol Hol Olchek will be a part of NHL 15. It's going to be um, NBC centric, the natural broadcasting company centric. Uh, they have a complete integration from what I understand. Some of the other, um, uh, some of the other improvements is what we come to expect with this game, improved collision in physics. So that was the one thing that actually jumped uh, from, from a two to a 10 uh, last year, the collision, um, uh, laying, in, laying into somebody, giving somebody a really hard hit, was it really felt like you were doing it. That's the one thing with NHL 14, they really did well. And, of course, hopefully that'll get better, according to EA Sports. Uh, unique NHL arenas uh, for you per perfectionists out there. Uh, improved puck physics, something that really did need to improve. There was, especially after some updates, I noticed, uh, the, the puck physics were a little uh, strange, never poor, never bad, but uh, a little bizarre at times. A better superstar skill stick. Well, you know what? I'm a defenseman. I'm terrible with the skill stick. doesn't really mean much to me, but all you shootout junkies should uh, like that. Better likenesses. 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 I, know, I thought I was going to screw that up, but actually I didn't. Um, I assume, well, I mean, considering you're getting more powerful machines with PS4 and uh, Xbox One, you're going to see, um, I'm sure, more detailed models out of the players. It comes with the territory, uh, folks, uh, so that should be getting better. Uh, here's another thing that was listed on uh, PuckGamer.com. Better crowds. Will they not boo? I don't know. <laughs> better gear. And uniforms, I imagine there'll be more or better or more detailed. And, of course, you'll get an AI boost. This trailer just came out today. It's just reported on Puck Daddy. It's making the rounds on Twitter. That's it. That's the big news right now. Of course, um, the two big games tonight in the National Hockey League will be... Ah, the Rangers are playing two nights in a row. Okay, the Rangers will be playing uh, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time with the Pittsburgh Penguins. I guess that'll be the first game at MSG. 
And the Los Angeles Kings will sure be in a match with the Anaheim Ducks. Not mighty. Not so mighty Ducks. Uh, LA leads that series 1-0 after a Marion Gabrick goal. Hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to us on YouTube. Check us out on Google+. Plus. Of course, we have our own Facebook t uh, site. Check out Shot from the Point and Other Crap. If you want to talk to me, it's Tommy C. S. F. T. P. Tommy C. at S. 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 F. T. P. It's been a long day, folks. What can I tell you? Not a super broadcasting mode. Uh, but um, glad you're joining join with me with the teaser trailer. As we get more stuff, and we're going to start doing this more often, just break it in. And letting you know, giving you giving you the uh, most updated news, whether it be actually hockey related from the NHL or uh, if it applies to the uh, the hockey community, so to speak. And now I sound like one of those goofball gamers. Um, thank you very much, everybody. Make sure you check out uh, this Sunday for the ultimate hockey, hardcore hockey podcast we're done with legendary Jake Link on Sundays. Subscribe here for times or check out the Facebook site, Shot from the Point and other crap. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's see you around. See ya! <laughs>